Team, Dhoni has proven to be a great chair with great success for us. Having the ability to mold it in a single color or two colors has proven to be successful. Now all we need to do is complete all the customer orders. Notice that there's downtime in the injection molding department and we need to understand what our capacity constraints are. Team, I'm counting on you. Okay, well it looks like we have some work to do here. As with any problem, we have to ask ourselves where to start. The answer to that question is we have to start by understanding what our current state is. To do that, we need to collect some data. Without collecting the data, we don't know if we truly have a problem or what the problem may be. Okay, in order to understand the situation better and get a true view of what our current state is, I asked our molding operators to complete these production control sheets. On these sheets, we can document what our downtime is, um, what our downtime reasons are, what our scrap is, what our scrap reasons are, and really get a good view of what our um, current state is. I included the scrap because I think that's important because that's really added downtime. Um, from this data that I've collected, I've built this spreadsheet um, which will help us analyze our current situation. Initially looking at all this data can be overwhelming. There are a lot of numbers and we somehow have to make sense of it all. I'm a visual person so I like graphs to tell me a better story of what's happening. I added a tab to graph out my downtime. By looking at this I can easily see that our number one downtime issue is color changeovers. The graph shows that between March 24th of this year and May 12th of this year, we had 100 color changeovers for about 5,591 minutes of lost time. Our second largest downtime issue is machine breakdowns. There were eight breakdowns for 3,225 minutes of lost time. Okay, now that we have this data and we know what our two opportunities are, we can now develop plans to improve them. I also mentioned that I decided to track scrap. Now I could have added the scrap to the spreadsheet the same way I did with the downtime and used a graph to depict it, but in this case I decided to summarize it by part, by scrap reason, and a general summary, summary using pivot tables. If I look at this I can see what our top scrap reasons are. It is easy to see that color changeovers is again our top issue here. Not only are changeovers causing the most machine downtime, but they are also causing the most scrap. Had I not taken the time to collect the data, I may have spent valuable time focusing on the wrong things. In this case, I used a spreadsheet to help me sort the data. Spreadsheets have options for producing graphs or sorting data through the use of pivot tables. There are other programs for sorting data as well. Well, Tim, I collected the data and it looks like color changeovers has to be our main focus here. Color changes is our top downtime issue. It's also our top scrap issue. We'll get together with a team of key people and start developing an action plan. Thanks for taking the time to do this. It's very critical for us. Now, why do we focus on downtime? Yes, because time is money. Now, this lost downtime could be potentially hampering our ability to meet our customers' needs. Now, let's take a look at what the cost of this downtime is, or specifically in this case, let's take a look at what the cost of performing a color change for a chair is. To do this, we'll need to consider labor with overhead, the cost of polypropylene, the cost of the purging compound, the cost of scrap seats, and the cost of scrap backs. When we're doing a color changeover, you can think of this as similar to pushing different colors of clay through toy clay presses that kids use. Labor and overhead. The overhead costs are indirect and fixed costs associated with running a business. Our labor and overhead rate is roughly about $70 per hour. So labor and overhead cost for color changes, $70 an hour times 59.91 minutes, which is really 0.999 hours. So $70 per hour times 0.999 hours which equals $69.93. Since we have two changeovers per chair, we have to multiply by two to get 
$139.86. The polypropylene cost is 91 cents per pound. Um, we go through an average of about 100 pounds, so that's $91. Again, we can multiply it by two to get $182. The purging compound cost is about $3.50 a pound times 25 pounds on average per color change, which equals $87.50 multiplied by two is $175. The scrap seats and the scrap back cost, we average about five scrap parts per color changeover. That's a seat cost of about $35.45 and a back cost of about $28. The total cost per changeover then is about $560.31. Considering the number of changeovers we are doing to meet our customer needs, you can now see why this is critical for us. Please keep in mind that while this is the average, there are many times where some colors or special colors may cost significantly more than this.